I 30 female moved in with my 27 male boyfriend. How do I cope with wanting to leave after two weeks? Moved into hell. Redditors, I need advice. I'm 30 female and my boyfriend 27 male have been together for almost a year now. We were doing long distance and I decided to take the dive and be the one to move. We typically never fought, argued, yelled at each other. We felt like the perfect couple. So I quit my job and moved my entire life from beautiful Florida to Ohio for him. We've been in this apartment together for two weeks now and I feel like I'm in hell. It has nothing to do with his living habits, his cleaning habits, etc., those are fine. I feel like he has completely changed. He's not even close to being the same man I fell in love with. His communication skills are suddenly horrible, he stayed out extremely late last night and ignored my calls. He expects me to wait on him hand and foot but complains about my food. He flips everything I find wrong about his actions right around back to me to make me feel like I'm wrong for even bringing it up. Basically what I'm asking is, I now feel so trapped. We signed this year lease and I don't know what to do. I'm still looking for a job and I can't afford this townhome rent by myself. I want him gone but I'm also struggling with this huge mistake I made that I now have to face. I have to tell my family who didn't think it was a good idea in the first place that they were right. Every day I want to move back home but it's expensive. I feel like there's a boulder on my chest and I can't move. Can your family help you? If so, consider swallowing your pride and letting them. You'll have to move back in with your parents. This is what happens in a lot of long-distance relationships. You didn't have a lot of time in person with him so you didn't give yourself enough time to know him. It's easy for people to hide who they really are online. God damn this absolutely blows, I'm so sorry. It's definitely going to be one of those, you live and you learn, moments when you reminisce on this situation in the future. But for now you need to get out, even if that means breaking the lease and moving back home to Florida. It's been two weeks and you're suffering, you can't do this for an entire year. It's time to cut your losses, get out, mourn what you thought you had with this guy, and let life take you on your next adventure. Take good care of yourself and again, I'm sorry it's worked out so poorly. Swallowing the embarrassment is a million times better than actually continuing to live with him. Don't wait until it gets even worse. Your family said it was a bad idea because they care. Even if they say I told you so, even if they're petty, ask them for help. Please. Get away from him. One year, long distance so you don't know the guy well. It was a mistake, it happens. First step is realizing it. Second one is moving out. I'm, 22M. Getting tired of my girlfriend, 21F, with BPD. We've been dating for a year now, we had our, 1Y anniversary, on Friday. She used to be going to therapy last year, but said it's a waste of money and stopped. She was diagnosed with BPD. For the first 8-9 months it didn't really affect me, but now it really isn't good for my mental health. She is impulsive, has mood swings, often angry for no reason. I often tell her what I doesn't like in her behavior because communication is key. The problem disappears but there is a new one in a few days. I asked her last week if she was thinking about going to therapy again and she said she doesn't want to. We also used to have good sex in our relationship, we used to be doing it every few days. Now since like a month she refused to do it almost every time, she told me it's not my fault because I'm the first man that made her achieve an orgasm. When she is in a good mood the relationship is beautiful, she is a really good, wise person but it drains my energy and makes me think a lot because I'm an overthinker. What stopped me from breaking up are our memories and laughing together. What to do? If she's unwilling to seek help then I'd be unwilling to date her. Treating her mental health needs to be a condition of staying together. Either she gets back into treatment and stays in, or the relationship needs to end. She will otherwise only continue to get worse. Break up. You can help her, but in the end she has to want to do it on her own. If she won't, then you're perfectly justified in re-evaluating if you want to date her. Sometimes the good doesn't outweigh the bad and there's nothing wrong with that. I get tired of them much quicker. Frustrate me to no end. ID break up. Sounds like it was helping when she was in therapy. How can I, 20F, get my Chinese roommate, 20F, to stop saying the N-word? I'm, 20 female, a Kenyan American University student sharing an off-campus apartment with a Chinese international student, 20 female, and while for the most part one like her and find her chill to be with, I have one gripe with her, she keeps using the n-word. She listens to a lot of rap, 
so when I first met her I just assumed she didn't know any better and tried asking her if she could chill out, but even now two years later she still uses it incessantly. I'm black, and even I don't use that word as much as she does. I've tried explaining to her why using the n-word as a non-black person is bad, but usually when I do this she either disregards what I have to say and tells me to be less sensitive, or she tells me that her other black friends don't care that she uses it so it's fine, which I know is complete bullshit as I'm the only black person she hangs out with regularly. I'm also somewhat worried for her as she is going to get in a lot of trouble if a professor hears her speak like this or if the wrong people hear her say the n-word. How can I get her to stop? You probably can't get her to stop. Your best bet is to ask administration for advice or a new roommate. A lot of Chinese people are just kinda racist. It's distinctly possible she completely understands the situation and just doesn't value your opinion enough to stop. You can't. But an ass whooping will. Film it and post it online. She'll stop then once she gets all the backlash from everyone. You can't get her to stop. You've done all you can and until she has consequences she won't learn. 24M husband not allowing me 22F to buy, healthy, food items at the store. My husband and I go grocery shopping every two or three weeks. I like to save money, a healthy eater, and don't like to eat out very often. My husband is the complete opposite. I recently started a job working four tens outside during the summer. When I eat unhealthy for days on end, I feel bloated and fat. I wanted to go grocery shopping for some healthier snacks for lunch to make, bento, boxes, since I don't eat very much anyways. When I asked my husband if we could go to the natural store, he laughed, asked why, and told me to go to the regular store and get cheaper. While I'll do that for fruit and veggies, I wanted to get some healthier crackers and meat. I care about my body, what I put into it to make energy. It's not like I'm spending a ton of money on groceries. I get anxious when I spend over $120 on groceries anyways. What is the best thing to do in this situation? Why do you have to ask your husband where to buy your food? Based on this and your post history your husband sounds controlling and unsupportive. Unless the budget is super tight, I don't really see why you need to consult him for where to buy food. Tell him you're trying new food and he's more than welcome to join you. You are concerned about food quality, he is concerned about budget. Have a talk to see how to meet both goals. Why is this his decision to make? 